Mike Schmitz here with Matthias Tass of Estonia, uh, the under-18 team. Just got another win here uh, in your hometown. Um, what has this experience been like for you? It's an um, unbelievable experience to play in front of the home crowd. Everyone's cheering and that's a good feeling for us because it's, it's the advantage of play, uh, playing uh, in front of a home crowd. It seems like every time we see you, you add something new to your game. Um, you know, stepping out and shooting threes a little bit more out here. You know, lefty jump hooks, little floaters. Uh, how have you evolved as a player these last couple of years? Uh, I try to improve every every uh, like element in my arsenal. So I try to try to improve my three-point shooting to space out the floor more and floater to use use them more in the game. But in the last two couple of years, I've tried to improve on the, my shooting form the most. How much do you follow the NBA game? Because um, it seems like your game is kind of you know, patterned after what a lot of the bigs are doing in, in today's game in terms of guys who can really pass, can shoot the ball a little bit. Um, is there anyone you like to, to watch and, and kind of study? I like those kind of bigs who see the floor well, like uh, Nikola Jokic from uh, Denver Nuggets. So I, I like uh, European bigs so more than uh, NBA bigs, I can say. What is your first memory of basketball? Uh, my first memory is that my brother brought me uh, to a practice and the uh, first time he passed me the ball, it went straight in my face. I couldn't pa catch it. so. That's my first memory of basketball. So your hands have improved? Yeah, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> How old were you then? Uh, I was 11. Okay. Like seven years ago, I started playing. Okay. And your parents were not players, no? Uh, no. Okay. And I guess what have you know those seven years been like for you? I know you were, uh, you know, here in, in a dentist and then um, in France and then you know moving around a little bit. What has it been like for you? It's been a tough ride, so I've played everywhere across across Europe. So uh, in France, I got a new experience how to, how the basketball is in there. And uh, this year, I played for our men's men's league in Estonia, so that was a good experience for me as well. How do you wh how can you explain kind of what the sports school is like at Audentis? Um, I know you're with a lot of these guys, you know, at somewhat of a young age. Um, what, it, what is it like there, learning from those coaches? Like, what is an everyday like? Aurentes is a youth team, so uh, we play uh, under-18 uh, Estonian Championship, but Kalev is, a, Kalev is a professional basketball team. We play WTB and uh, uh, Estonian Championships, and that's about it. Um, what, t talk to me a little bit about kind of this group. It seems like this generation is one of the better generations that Estonia has had in some time. Um, you know, you and Kulame and you know Drell, even a little younger, and uh, this group. Um, is that just a coincidence, or do you think that Estonian basketball is really like evolving? I think we're evolving because I know a couple of guys who are younger than me, and they're. Uh, showing their skills pretty, at pretty high levels, so I think we we have like in five years we have a pretty great national men's national team. I know you're able to practice against some guys who were pretty you know pretty high level players in college or even a couple of NBA minutes. Um, wh how how did you improve from all of that? Uh, mostly I improved on how to how to play smarter. So you can do everything by strength and uh, muscle. You gotta use uh, your head, then. and that's that's the most important thing I learned with playing uh, in Gallim in one for one year. And in a lot of countries, you know, not every federation is willing to let the players, you know, go to different countries and develop. They usually try to, you know, keep them close. And, uh, you know, I know your federation is very open to that, given there's more facilities in other countries. Um, what is that like to have a federation that's very supportive of, of these type of things? Uh, I think our uh, it's good for our improvement, so players can improve on different levels like younger younger players and uh, older ones they'll have those facilities where they can play and train and I think that's good for Estonian uh, Estonian basketball future. 
no, the, the team was very strong in the early 90s, like 91, 93, I believe. How, how much have you heard about those teams? Uh, I think that was a combined team with Russia or something. Yes. But, but yeah, we had some great players. Uh, one of the players is uh, right now our coach, Greg uh, and uh, I don't follow so much the 90s and 80s uh, basketball, but I know we have accomplished the great things. And what are your plans these next few years? What are you hoping to accomplish? Uh, my plans next couple of years, I think I'll stay. This year I'll stay in Tallinn, uh, Kalev, I mean, uh, and uh, play one year with them. And after that, I would like to go to college uh, in the States. Great. Well, good luck to you and thank you so much. Thanks.